And if, if I consider, all right, so what's a proportionate sentence for somebody accused of uh, essentially of guilt, stand guilty of uh, cunnilingus of his own young daughter? Not less than 16 months or more than 24 months. You can appeal if you wish to file an daughter. For the county of Sheboygan and providing public access both in the courtroom and also online. And next, we had a sentencing in People versus Trey Eck. Mr. Eck, if you want to come out to this table, it's file 24 6795 FH. Counsel, you want to state your appearances beginning with People? Good afternoon, Mike Mataloni on behalf of Trey Eck. All right. And I know uh, my staff had some communications with you today, Mr. Mataloni, and you had uh, something in Macomb that prevented you getting your. Uh, up uh, here, and is Mr. Eck comfortable with your appearing by Zoom today with, with him in the courtroom? Yes, sir. I've spoken to Mr. Eck three times today, um, and I do apologize. My client for the Macomb County case didn't show up till 1030, and we didn't get out of there till a little bit after 11. There was no way to make it to Sheboygan by 130, and I appreciate you allowing me to participate by Zoom, and Mr. Uh, Eck is comfortable with me appearing via Zoom as well. Okay. These things happen, and so Mr. Eck, at any time, if you need a moment to talk to your attorney privately, you just let us know, and uh, we can... We can facilitate that. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Madaloni, have you had a chance to review the pre-sentence report with your client? Yes, we went over it. The PSI. Do you have any? Do you have any additions, corrections, or modifications to the factual information in that report? No, sir. The advisory guidelines were scored at zero to seventeen months. Do you have any scoring challenges? I do not. Mr. Grish, do you have any additions, corrections, or scoring challenges from the people? No. no. Mr. Madaloni, anything you want to say on behalf of your client? Well, uh, Judge, I would like to say that you know, Mr. Eck has. Uh, one misdemeanor on his record. He does have uh, some juvenile cases, but as an adult, he has one misdemeanor. And of course, he now has uh, this high court misdemeanor as well. Uh, he's employed uh, while on bond. He did not have any violations. Um, he hasn't picked up any new charges. Um, and honestly, uh, Judge Mr. Beck made a uh, soul searching decision when it came to entering this plea, considering what might happen if he went to trial and did not win. Uh, so he made the choice to enter this plea. Um, he has absolutely no intention of uh, engaging in this type of behavior in the future. Um, and I've asked the court to um, follow our agreement. I'm also uh, pointing out to the court that his medical marijuana card is valid. Um, it has not lapsed. And all the other conditions, Mr. Eck indicates that he have, will have no problem following those conditions. So I would ask the court to follow our, our agreement. And thank all right, you. Thank you, Mr. Maloney. <clears throat> Mr. Eck, it, it's not required that you would say anything today, but it is allowed. Is there anything that you want to tell me today or no? Uh, <clears throat> I did only take this plea because I was more or less scared of trial. It's a lot of time for something that I know I didn't do. Um, I guess at this point, I'm just kind of rolling with the punches. <laughs> Okay, Ms. Goodrich, any recommendations from the people? Uh, yes, Your Honor, thank you. Uh, we are uh, here with a 25-year-old defendant who has no prior felonies and one prior misdemeanor on a sexual assault case involving a relative uh, and agreement with the condition of no contact with the victim. Uh, I'm concerned about the defendant's statements here today in court, as well as in the PSI about not needing uh, mental health treatment. So I'm not sure what probation will help. He's not willing to accept any responsibility uh, for what occurred here today and, and not willing to engage in treatment to make things better in the future. Uh, so I think that uh, incarceration may be appropriate. Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, yes, Mr. Eck? Uh, I have been open with CPS to whatever programs or, you know, things that help they would want to offer. I made that clear in the probate court. We weren't, I don't think we've had court over here since that point, but I am open to services and counseling and whatever. Okay, thank you. Well, Mr. Eck, if you please stand for the court sentence. Uh, there, there are some financial assessments that... Uh, $68 in state cost, $130 in the crime victims assessment, $60 DNA testing fee, and you have to supply DNA test, and $350 in court costs. Now, the advisory guidelines are 0 to 17, and there's a sentence agreement that I sent you within those guidelines uh, that uh, calls for an intermediate sanction unless there's reason for uh, incarceration. And as outlined by the prosecutor, I, I think there certainly is. You know, these are, uh, these are uh, difficult cases, uh, and in this case, uh, you stand convicted of criminal sexual conduct in the fourth degree for a sexual assault on your own daughter, uh, charged with a CSC second uh, with a 15-year felony and pled, pled down to the fourth. But, and I understand, you know, you and your attorney's statements that you're trying to mitigate a uh, risk of trial, but I, I cannot come to sentencing and sentence you as if you're innocent of a crime. You pled no contest. So I'm sentencing you today 
you know, under the belief that you are guilty of this offense. You did not contest it. I reviewed the factual basis for it. There was a factual basis to support your plea. It was your voluntary plea. The conduct is, uh, is really terrible conduct uh, for um, serious sexual abuse of your own daughter at a very young age that has caused her uh, significant difficulties. Uh, so the, the advisory guidelines go up to 17 months under the uh, Tanner two-thirds maximum. The most that you can receive is 16 months, given the 24-month maximum. And if, if I consider, all right, so what's a proportionate sentence for somebody accused of uh, essentially of guilt, stand guilty of a cunnilingus of his own young daughter? 16 months in prison is certainly proportionate. It's within guidelines and that's what you're doing. Do I need to the Michigan Department of Corrections? What? Not less than 16 months or more than 24 months. You can appeal if you wish not file an application. And you have to leave it to be disruptive. Uh, you can file an appeal to the Court of Appeals by filing an application, and we're going to have the appeal paperwork back in the jail. One copy is for you to initial for us, and the other one's to fill out if you want to take an appeal. Good luck to you. I don't want you have a day, sir. Thank you, Judge. I'll throw it for a second.